Hey, it's Don, the Auction Professor here. Today, we're going to talk about the changes in the responses that have been going around from eBay's changes. The biggest response is I'm done with eBay. I hear that constantly these days for the last couple of weeks. eBay's screwing us over. eBay's trying to get the small sellers. eBay's this, eBay's that eBay's a business, you know, they're they're trying to look out for the bottom line. eBay doesn't stay in business if the investors and the people who are funding the company, you know, aren't making something off of it. I know people say, you know, that's not right. That's not this. It's capitalism. All the folks that, you know, complain about it are the same ones that are happy with capitalism because that's why eBay works in the first place. That's why we can sell on eBay and still make a good profit because it's a capitalistic environment. It allows anybody the options to do what they want with their own company and to, you know, be competitive in the, in the field. So I don't take this as eBay's trying to screw anybody. I know I'll get some major negative flack from this for sure because I always seem to get it. The folks who are so upset about stuff, this minor of a change, and this is nothing compared, again, to what they've done before. You, you just aren't made for eBay in the first place. You might as well have quit before this. It's another reason, you know, when I get complaints, you know, why are you giving out the information and, you know, why would you want to do that? Most people quit. Most people quit that do this. The majority of people quickly realize that they're just not going to make a fortune, you know, overnight. It's just not uh, a plain and simple way to, to be rich. It takes a lot of work and it takes years for most people. I know there are some cases where a straight person here or a straight person there made it rich, you know, right off the bat the first year or they found some item or some niche. For the most part, you're not going to do that. You know, it's just not going to happen. And then a lot of people these days are trying to make money offering you skills so you can make it rich, even though they haven't technically made it rich on the, on the uh, web either. So for those of you who are complaining and constantly having issues with the changes that eBay is doing, it's an inevitable uh, fact that's going to happen every year, sometimes a couple times a year. So you might as well quit now because, again, it's going to keep happening constantly. It's happened every single year for more than 20 years we've been on eBay. We just roll with the punches and move on. You know, There's nothing I can do about it. It's still the best platform. It's still the best option. And again, we sell on Amazon, uh, Discogs, Etsy, across the web on nine different places so you know i know you know that there's other options and such for it too but ebay still is the number one source so i would never quit ebay for something as simple as a few changes that they are doing it's not going to affect your day-to-day -day business at all you know there's just no no sense or rhyme or reason to it at all it just just doesn't make any sense to me why you'd quit over something this simple if you're working for somebody else they change the rules and the policies on you constantly Every single place I've ever worked, we've had to change the rules and the policies, procedures, seasonal aspects of it, different menus, different rollouts, constantly, constantly. If you work in a restaurant, you're changing your menu constantly, three, four times a year. If you work in retail, you're changing your, your establishment and your layouts and your clothing or your merchandise constantly for seasonal. And that's even more because you're doing holiday goods as well. Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter, Valentine's Day, you know, uh, Fourth of July, Christmas. New Year's. I mean, these are all things that people reset stores for. So, you know, eBay only changes once or twice. Everybody else is changing more. You know, just look at the big picture. You're not looking at the big picture. The big picture is that eBay is a huge monster platform to sell almost anything that you want. And there's a buyer out there for almost anything you have for sale. You know, there's nowhere you know else like it. Amazon doesn't have the compatibility in some areas, collectibles and vintage. So no matter what you're selling, eBay still has a viable use for it. So, you know, don't give up if, if you know, it's just some simpleton thing to a, a rule change or the guidelines change or, you know, updates or anything like that. Again, because it's going to happen all the time. A lot of people just aren't looking for the big picture here. The big picture is your bottom line. Right now, you shouldn't be worrying about a policy change. You should be looking at third and fourth quarter. Fourth quarter is pretty much all I think about once fourth quarter is over, believe it or not. My whole year is based on fourth quarter, you know, pushing stuff through to fourth quarter. We don't have a major drop in sales like many people do because of what we sell. But we still have a big increase for fourth quarter in other areas on other platforms and things as well, too. So we, you've got to always be looking ahead. 
the, the early bird catches the worm, so to speak. That's why we made deals and looked into fourth quarter, this coming up fourth quarter, last fourth quarter, a year in advance. So, you know, I'm not worried about eBay's changes. I'm not worried if they're going to, you know, pull something on us or do something to us. It's a business. They're going to do what they're going to do to look out for themselves and the business itself. You know, again, this is hard work. There's nothing easy about eBay in any way, shape, or form. Anybody telling you that eBay is just super easy, that you're just going to start eBay, follow their plan, and you're going to make a fortune is just not being honest with you. You know, there's just no quick way to make a ton of money on eBay. There's competition. There's other sites. You know, it, it's just not that easy. I work tons of hours. I usually get up at 535, Monday through Friday, to do something and take my kid to school. After that, you know, I'm working, you know, by 630. I'm already, you know, packing up. I've already got my items pulled for the most part. I'm getting the, the day ready. I'm looking for any pulls or any uh, picks or hauls I have to do. You know, I'm making schedules up. I'm getting items ready to be listed. Then I'm listing. I'm photographing all day long. You know, I'm, I'm up. I'm running till like 10 o'clock at night, even sometimes 11 or 12 on some days. I work the weekends as well, and I don't have to. You know, I could be fine with the income, you know, less than some of my hours, but I like doing what I do. You know, this is this is my thing. I found something that that's made perfectly for me that, you know, I completely get the grasp of, and, you know, I've spent a lot of time to get to this point. You know, I didn't always, you know, have the ability to source good items or to find this or to do that or know how to do this or know the best title or know all of this. It's just taken 20 years to do that. Anybody doing something for 20 years better get better at it or you shouldn't be doing it in the first place. So who cares what the policy changes are for the most part? Figure out how to work a way around it. Don't think that it's there, it's killing you or crushing you. Figure out how you're going to crush it. There isn't any change that eBay has done that I haven't been able to overcome really quickly and just move on it and totally forget it and push it behind the past. Just like this last policy, I've already figured out what I'm going to do with the 30 days and you know how I'm going to separate everything. No big deal. I'm already moving on, as I said. So don't let that hold you back. Don't let the, the idea that you can't do something or you don't have the money to do it hold you back. Figure out when are you going to do it? How are you going to get that money? What's going to get you that money? Look at, at the processes. Look at other ways and venues. Put in more hours if that's what it takes to, to go beyond this. Once you figure it out, it's going to be nothing. It's going to be not even a little blip in the road, no roadblock, nothing. And you're just going to keep on going. You know, just don't panic over these little tiny things. The big picture is the bottom line, the end of the year. What's going to happen in the fourth quarter? How much are you going to make this year? You know, if you're just going to take it from the angle that, gee, eBay screwed me over. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm not going to make any money this way. Of course, you're going to lose at it. You have no will or motivation. You don't have a, a vision. You don't see the big picture. Whatever they throw in front of me, an obstacle, a road bump, or whatever the case may be, I'm excited to know that I can conquer it. I can move past it. You know, I can not let it bother me. I can just be looking at the end of the road, the, the fourth quarter, my end of the year sales, my increases that constantly go on here, my, my goals. You know, if you can't see that and, and can't see beyond this again, quit now already. Just end your business. Go back working for somebody else who's going to do more changes and be more disruptive for your life than what eBay would be. So, you know, you, you've got freedom with eBay. If, if it's not worth dealing with a change that happens once a year or twice a year, then again, quit. You know, again, quit, 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 quit eBay. Stop. Go right now and sign out of your account. Close the store. Be done with it. Go somewhere else. That's fine. You know, you shouldn't be worrying about these little hiccups in the road. You should be worrying about how you can expand your business, not, you know, being bottlenecked or them trying to shorten your business or cut down on your business. Figure out how to advance your business. You know, if you, you don't think you can get by a, a little speed bump like this in the road again, you should quit. It's just, you know, I, I, I don't know how to be more blunt. It's a lot of work what I do, what anybody does, not just me. I'm not going to belittle anybody out there, but anybody making good money on eBay is working their butts off. There's just no other way around it. There's no other quick revenue stream option to do that. Everybody has to do that. Even big, huge companies like Twitter made no money. They lost money for years, and I mean years. There's, there's just so many ways to make money these days. You know, don't let the little things bother you. Don't sweat the small stuff. Look ahead to the future. Take it as a challenge. Get excited about it. Think of it as a ball game and the competitors just slid into home and, and you know, you're, you're behind. I mean, 
take it however you want as an analogy. You know, your competitors are a little stronger than you. You've got to be a little smarter than them. Figure out how you can outwit those policies that eBay put in, you know, within the guidelines of those policies. You know, sell somewhere else if that's what it, what it takes you to keep your business going. But quitting for something simple and small and insignificant just isn't an option for, you know, those who want to win at this, those who want, you know, success and freedom. Nobody who has succeeded and made a ton of money gave up so easily. You know, it's just not going to happen. You know, for those of you who have an idol or watch somebody who has succeeded in business, how many times did that person give up? I bet you they didn't. I bet you they learned from their mistakes. They learned from failures. They learned from all these obstacles being thrown at them, and they advanced their business and took it as a challenge. They got excited. It, it drove them up. For me, it, do, it does, you know, invigorate me. It does get me excited to know that, you know, I'm going to be able to get to this challenge. I'm going to beat it. I'm going to look right past it and keep on going. Anyway, take that with, you know, a grain of salt, you know, look at it from a different aspect of it. No one's trying to screw you. You know, it's what you make of it. Your business is your business and you have to make the best of it if you want that business. If not, again, go work for somebody else. Well, that's what I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell a friend.